Some say that love don't hurt But I got you stuck in my memory Some say that hearts come first But they've never known what it's like to be Welcome to today's video. I'm so excited because it's my first spring video of 2017 and I love making spring videos. They're one of my favorite types of videos to make and I know it's technically not spring yet but basically when it's March like my brain is in spring mode. So as you can tell by the title today's video is DIY spring room organization and it includes a bunch of DIYs on how do you get your room all organized for spring cleaning and stuff like that because I don't know about you guys but my room was in desperate need of some organization help and all of these really did help me so hopefully they'll help you guys as well. If you do make any of these DIYs, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Twitter and send a picture of what you've made because I would love to see it and I'll definitely like your picture and stuff like that. Also, if you want to buy some of my Mini Lucy shirts or merchandise, the link is down below. We have a bunch of different shirt designs and styles and stuff and they're really good prices so you definitely don't want to miss out on those. So I don't want to make this intro too long but I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get started. So for our first DIY, which is a DIY outfit organizer, you're going to start out with some cute scrapbook paper. I found mine for a few cents at Michael's. And just take a few pieces of those. And next, all you're going to do is take one of your clothing hangers from your closet and go ahead and kind of trace it a little bit at the top to form a hexagon type shape. I think that's the right shape. I failed geometry, so I wouldn't really know. And once you do that, you can go ahead and draw a circle at the top and then go ahead and cut that out. Once it's cut out and it looks a little bit something like this, you can just go ahead and repeat the same steps for four other little cards because we're making five in total for five days of the week. For this next step, I decided to write out my own little letters for the day of the week, but you could also use stickers if you don't want to write anything out. But basically, I'm just taking the first letter of each day of the week and just drawing that on there. I kind of went for a modern calligraphy type vibe, if that makes any sense. So I did an M, a T, W, T, H, and an F for the five days of the week, and you can just go ahead and write the letter on each little card. And that is all you have to do for this DIY. It's seriously so easy and it costs only a few cents to make. And I love this because all you have to do is just pick out your outfits ahead of time, probably on Sunday night. And you can go ahead and plan them all and stay organized by just placing your little day of the week card on your hanger and then just put them all in one spot and you're good to go. This really prevents you from being late for school and it also just keeps all of your outfits organized in the order that you want to wear them. This is definitely gonna help me out a lot. I need to start picking my outfits out ahead of time so that I'm not scrambling in the morning and it just overall keeps you super organized and I definitely recommend this. For our next DIY, you're just going to start out with a little wooden frame. I found mine at Michael's Craft Store and I decided to jazz mine up a little bit by painting it with a cute springy pink color. You could use whatever color you want or just leave it plain, whatever you prefer. So once that was all dry, I just flipped over my picture frame and I took some yellow string and I stapled the first part of it at the bottom corner and then I kind of did a zigzag pattern you're just gonna kind of have to watch what I'm doing here because it's hard to explain but basically I would zigzag the string from corner to corner and hot glue it wherever it met the wood and I went all the way up and then I did zigzags coming down as well and I'm sorry this sounds so confusing but trust me it's super easy and really self-explanatory if you just kind of watch what I'm doing and once you've glued down all the string, you can just take some scissors and cut off the excess, and that is it for the base of our jewelry hanger. And now it's time to fill our jewelry hanger with actual jewelry or sunglasses because those would work too. But if you guys are anything like me, you have jewelry all over your room and drawers just tangled up and you forget that you have it. So all you have to do is just put your favorite jewelry that you wear the most on your jewelry hanger. You can drape it through the strings. And I think it's a super creative way to have everything on display and it also serves as great room decor. And I just love this because I don't forget the jewelry that I have and then I wear it more often and it's just much more organized overall. Thank you. 
For our DIY washi tape dispenser, which is one of my favorites, I found this wooden craft box for like three bucks at Michael's and I decided to paint it yellow because yellow is one of my favorite colors if you didn't know that about me. And I also painted the inside white. And once that was all dry, I just took a pencil and I tried to place it inside of the box and I marked the excess where it wouldn't fit inside the box if that makes any sense and I just cut that part off until it fit in perfectly. Then you can go ahead and pick out the washi tape that you want to put inside of your dispenser and this was one of my favorite parts because I'm kind of obsessed with washi tape if you couldn't tell. Next I just took a hot glue gun and on each side of my wooden box I just kind of made a little bundle of hot glue if that makes any sense and I let that dry to give the pencil something to rest on top of so it wouldn't fall down from the weight of the washi tape. And after that to jazz up my box yet again I glued on some little paper flowers that I found in the Target dollar section and I just think it adds a little pop of color which is really cute and that is all you have to do for this dispenser. It's so easy to make and I definitely needed this because as you can tell Tell. I had a lot of different types of washi tape and this just keeps them all organized together and much easier to rip off and use rather than having them scattered all over the place and if you're crafty like me washi tape is definitely a necessity and you guys should definitely try this out because it just keeps everything much more organized oh, baby, I love your madness. This next DIY is super cool and I can't wait to show you guys. So first go on to Google Images and type in Anthropology Book Spines. Anthropology is a really aesthetic store so I thought their books were really nice and they just kind of looked like room decor. You could also just type in normal book spines, whatever you guys prefer. And once you print out your book spines, go ahead and cut them out as closely as possible to make them look super realistic. And then you can take a shoe box or really any box that you can find around your house, even a little container works. And you're just going to take your paper book spines, line them up to your box, and then go ahead and glue that down. You could also line the back of your book spines with some cardstock to make it more sturdy, but I kind of went the lazy route and didn't do that and it worked out just fine. And next you can go ahead and fill your box with whatever random knickknacks you find all over your room because I never know where to put that kind of stuff. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate with that. So this kind of gives that random stuff in your room a place to live and the cool thing is it's disguised as books so I just I think this is just so cool it's like a little secret hack and you should definitely try this out because it's basically free to make and now whenever you just have a random knickknack that you don't know where to put just go ahead and throw it behind your little fake book stack into that box and it's good to go it just helps keep your room less cluttered and I just I just love this you should definitely try it out this last organization tip is not really a DIY, but I still wanted to include it because I think it's super helpful. So I was in the Target dollar section and I found these really, really cute colorful vases or jars. I don't really know what to call them, but I thought they were really cute and I wanted to organize with them. So I went into my makeup drawer and as you can see, it's so disorganized. There's stuff all over the place and to just keep things together and more in place, I decided to put my makeup that I use on a regular basis in one of the jars and just keep that right by my mirror where I do my makeup every morning and that way I don't have to go through my messy drawer of makeup that I don't use that often and everything's just right here for me in the morning and I recommend that you guys do this too. And for my other one, I decided to fill that with some office supplies like colored pencils. You could also do scissors or a stapler. And this can keep you more organized for school as well rather than having them scattered all over your desk. So even simple little jars like this from the dollar section can really help keep your room organized for the springtime. So that was it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because I have tons of more exciting videos coming. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to try any of these DIYs out. And remember to tag me or show me any pictures of things that you make in this video. So I think that's all I have to say for this video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love you so much and I'll talk to you in my next video.